Team MI Snowplow. Get to it. And let's get outside now with a live look over downtown Detroit. We've seen some snow showers on and off all day. Meteorologist Mike Taylor has been tracking the system as it moves through Metro Detroit. And will those snow plows get some work, Mike? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll be enough snow for Plowosaurus Rex or Sir Salts a lot. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some snow uh, that could ice up the roads in spots, especially if they're untreated. So that's going to be a concern late tonight as the temperature drops and also for tomorrow morning. 37 degrees for today's high temp. This actually helped us out. Uh, we've been seeing snow off and on just about all day, but it had a tough time sticking because of that temperature. Right now we're at 33. At least the sensors reporting some rain. We've had a mixture of rain and snow throughout the course of the day. Winds from the west only at 6 miles per hour, but it makes it feel like 28 when you step outside. So here's a breakdown of what you need to know. Snow showers are going to continue. I'm thinking a better chance of accumulation is going to be between now into the overnight for tomorrow morning. Snowfall amounts up to about an inch, but if we can get some lake enhancement in spots, say near the thumb for instance, maybe three inches, an isolated fashion won't be ruled out for sure. Uh, just based on lake effect snow, just has a tendency to overproduce as far as the snowfall goes. But trending colder from here, it will not be an immediate drop off, but over the course of the next couple of days, the 20s are slowly going to work back into Metro Detroit. Right now we're sitting at around either 32 or 33. Snow's trying to work its way across Metro Detroit and sticking in spots from Mount Clemens to Pontiac out towards House, right along the M59 corridor there. And out towards the west, you'll see the snow is still as far as the eyes can see. It's mainly a system to our south. It's a weak system and it's slowly pushing off towards the east. It's going to keep us in a constant state of lift and instability, just enough to keep the snowflakes around. So that'll be in the forecast, but notice the numbers will be just around the freezing mark. So it's going to have a hard time sticking. That'll help us out initially, but then the temperatures will be allowed to drop eventually, going with an overnight low to around 29 degrees in Detroit, along with many suburbs and backyards as well. So we'll start the day off tomorrow near 30 degrees in the morning, 35 for the high temp, some light snow possible again, which could linger through the evening. And then we're not talking about much here, about maybe one to two inches in spots up to three inches across much of the area. But once again, this is between now all the way into your afternoon on Monday. Jumping ahead into Tuesday, the 20s are going to return. We'll be struggling just to warm up here. The colder air really is going to take hold as we get towards next weekend and that Arctic air gets ever so closer. So here's the seven day forecast. We stay in the thirties. We'll spike up to 40 on Thursday, but then we drop off towards next weekend with a high of just 28 for next Saturday. All right, so focus on Thursday for now.